Hello everyone. Let's study about electric potential. First and foremost, the question is why do we want electric potential? To understand this, think of a charge. For example, let's take a positive charge Q. We know that this positive charge creates its own electric field and the electric field for a positive charge goes out radially in all direction or for that matter any charge any charge configuration will create its own electric field but to deal with electric field it is difficult because electric field is a vector quantity so the problem becomes even more complex if we have more number of electric charges so the more and more electric charges are present to find the field at a point becomes difficult so to overcome this problem we need another parameter which would tell about the charge configuration so we need to find an alternative or something which is more simpler to know about the charge and that parameter is called electric potential even this would give us information about the charge we can always know what the electric field is we know the potential and we can always know what is the potential if you know the field so by that way we can relate these two parameters so it is always easy to deal with electric potential because potential is a scalar quantity so we will define this potential first again in this case if we have a charge say capital Q and we need to find the potential at a given point example say at this point we need to find the electric potential let us call this as point b and distance between say the charge kept at point a to b is some r we know that the electric field because of this charge would be going out radially so the field will go out in this direction by definition electric potential of an electric field at a point which is b in this case is defined as the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point against the electric field direction that is if we take a unit positive charge let us call it as small q now when this charge is brought from this point which is in this case infinity so when we move this charge when the charge is brought towards the charge it will be repelled away because it, they have same polarity so in this case we do work to bring it from this to this point so this work done in moving this charge from infinity by the charge mode this is defined to be electric potential so it is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to the point where we need to find the potential as seen here v is a scalar quantity because it's a ratio of work done which is scalar by q which is scalar now its si unit is given by joule per coulomb because recall that work done by charge mode is equal to electric potential for work done the SI unit is joule and it is coulomb that becomes joule per coulomb this is called as electric potentials SI unit now this is given a name that's called as volt and this is in honor of the scientist Alessandro Volta dimensionally for volt it will be work done which is m power 1 l power 2 t power minus 2 by charge which is a into t therefore the dimensions of electric potential is equal to m power 1 l power 2 t power minus 3 and a power minus 1 now let's define what is 1 volt you have seen that the electric potential is given by work done by charge mode and it is measured in volt q 
keep in mind that in case of electric potential the symbol for the term and unit as same symbols so don't get confused here the potential symbol is v and also for voltage the s unit is v only this is called as volt now to define one volt from here if you make both w as one joule and q as one coulomb it becomes one volt mathematically so mathematically we can say that when w is one joule and q is one volt when q is one coulomb then the potential at that point is one volt so we'll define this saying that the electric potential at a point is said to be one volt if one joule of work is done is to be done in bringing one coulomb of positive charge from infinity to that point against electric field so if the work done is one joule and the charge brought is one coulomb then that work done by charge that is equal to potential of one volt but in most cases what we need is potential difference not absolute value that is if we look at a charge say capital q and there are few points let's take a point somewhere here a point b and a point c now let the potential at the point to be vb and here it is vc the point c now potential difference between two points in an electric field is defined as the work done per unit positive charge in moving it from one point to another against the field electric field goes in this direction because it's a positive charge so the work done in moving a unit positive charge from point b to point c this work done by the charge mode would be equal to difference of its potential so mathematically the work done to go from point b to point c by the charge mode that is equal to difference of potential it will be vc minus vb to make more sense out of it we generalize this so the work done to move from an initial point to final point by the charge mode is equal to v final minus v initial so this is a very very important expression and lot of numericals can be solved based on this alone and keep in mind that whenever we say potential it's always about the potential difference only now this potential difference is responsible for charges to move so whenever we get any current or whenever charges move it is because of this difference in potential only keep in mind that if you have example two points say t1 and t2 the temperature is different and assuming that t1 is more than t2 then heat flows from t1 to t2 or from point 1 to point 2 so difference in temperature leads to flow of heat similarly difference in concentration leads something to move so in the same way difference in potential will make charge to move so now on whenever charges are in motion or when a charge is move it is because of difference in potential and keep in mind that a positive charge moves from a high potential to low potential we will talk about this when we do when you find the potential due to a point charge